let's start with this, with Corey Joseph being gone and C.J. Miles in. Is this what will make the Raptors have a better season than last year? Maybe the better question for you is, what needs to happen this upcoming season for it to be determined successful with the moves that Masai's made now? Okay, so that's a tricky question to answer because let's think back to end-of-year press conference, Masai Ujiri, mm -hmm. and what was he preaching? He was preaching that we need to change the culture. culture there needs to be a culture region. change. And anytime you say that in sports, it's always a hot-button topic, right? Mm -hmm. So you think if you have to change the culture, you have to get rid of some big names, you have to get rid of a coach, right? That's what you think. Right. Now, he hasn't done that. He's, he's locked up his big players. He's locked up Kyle Lowry. He's locked up Serge Ibaka. Mm -hmm. Now, he does have more flexibility, which will help in years to come money-wise. And with these moves, too, you're going to have – more room for the kids, too, whether that's DeLon Wright or Van Vliet. I mean, Norm Powell, he'll get a lot more minutes. But he I will. still just question, will that make them good enough to go up against the likes of, obviously, the Cavs, who are still a better shooting team, and now the Celtics, who have also strengthened their team, if we're just focusing on, on doing well in the East. It, it, it kind of begs the question, what will you be happy with? What is a good Raptors team? Is it a 50-win yeah season yeah. where you make the playoffs and lose in the second round or is it to try and win an NBA championship to be honest in this climate I, I think that it is realistically they've got themselves a star-studded team yeah uh, they have a team that that can challenge I don't think Boston's the second best team in the East I don't think they were the best team last year and I think that arguably they might be worse with Gordon Hayward because defensively they're not nearly as good but that's a, another uh, question I think that that second spot absolutely is up there for the Raptors on paper I think they're they're with it I think 50 wins Get to that conference final. Show that you're making some strides. I don't think there are that many Raptors fans out there that are expecting them to win the NBA title. I know you're passionate, a passionate bunch, as you should be, and the team has made a lot of strides in the, in the last few years, huge strides, but they're just not at that point yet. I'd be happy with 55 wins. Yeah. And a uh, late playoff date into May. Sure. There's a lot of people that underrate chemistry, and it's, yeah. it's crazy, I think, to, to think that. Uh, there may, might be some teams that benefit from it more, and you look at, uh, they do it in different ways, and you know, the Warriors aren't exactly the social party bunch that the Cavaliers are, but there's a real <laughs> undeniable chemistry there that translates on the court, and I think for the Raptors, I think it's going to be huge. And you look at the last couple of years, that's been arguably their strong suit as well, especially that first year they shocked everyone and, and made the playoffs after trading Rudy Gay. It was, it was chemistry. You didn't want to yeah. make too many changes to that squad because you didn't want to mess with that. And the way that they've done things now, I think that they're, they're smart additions, they're smart changes, mm -hmm. and uh, I think you're absolutely right. To have Ibaka uh, and the two of them, Damar yeah. and, uh, and Lowry, for the full training camp is going to be great for them. Yeah.